This is an NBC News special report. Good evening, I'm Jacob Ward with an NBC News special report. Law enforcement officials have confirmed that the suspect in the mass shooting in Maine, Robert Card, has been found dead. Officials are holding a press conference with more details right now in Lewiston, Maine. We bring you there. Listen in. I stand here to t tonight to simply report that the Maine State Police have located the body of Robert Card in Lisbon. He is dead. I've called President Biden to inform him about this news. I've informed <clears throat> Senator King, Senator Collins, Representative Pingree, and Representative Bolden. Commissioner Sasha <clears throat> will describe the circumstances of that discovery in some detail uh, in a few moments. But this discovery is entirely thanks to the hundreds of local, county, state, and federal law enforcement members from all over, and people from other states as well. People who searched tirelessly to arrive at this moment. And on behalf of all Maine people, I want to exp express my profound gratitude for their unwavering bravery and determination and fortitude, and for the leadership of Louis Lewiston Police Chief same. Where you go? Right, right, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, that guy. <laughs> Lewis's police chief, St. Pierre. Like many people, I'm breathing a sigh of relief tonight knowing that Robert Card is no longer a threat to anyone. I know there are some people, many people, who share that sentiment, but I also know that his death may not bring solace to many. But now is a time to heal. And with this search concluded, I know that law enforcement continues to fully investigate all the facts so we can bring what closure we can to the victims and their families. And I ask that all Maine people continue to keep those families and all of the people impacted by this tragedy in their thoughts and prayers. Lewiston is a special place. This isn't us. Lewiston is a great place. It's a close-knit community of fine people, people with a long history, a history of hard work, of persistence, of faith, of opening its big heart to people everywhere. And tonight, the city of Lewiston and the state of Maine begin to move forward on what will be a long and difficult road to healing, but we will heal together. Thank you, and again, my deepest gratitude, gratitude of all the people of the state of Maine, to these wonderful members of law enforcement who came from all over to help us solve this crime and put closure on this investigation. Robert Card is dead. Now I'm going to turn it over to Commissioner Sasha. Thank you very much, Governor. We truly do appreciate uh, all of your support. I think it's incredibly important uh, that the next uh, person that speaks uh, this evening is Lewiston's uh, chief uh, law enforcement champion, and that is Dave St. Pierre. Dave. Thank you, Mike. Uh, and thank you, Governor, for allowing me this opportunity. Uh, bear with me, please. I, I certainly did not have much time to prepare a speech here. Um, I, I want to I say to everybody, thank you so much. You can, our community can now breathe a sigh of relief, as, as the Governor stated, and I can't echo that enough. Um, our work, again, is not done here. Um, I, I was very elated tonight when I got the call from Commissioner Soschuk, um advising me of uh, the revelation of what took place and that Mr. Card is deceased and no longer a threat to our community or any other community. Uh, I just don't want to forget the, the families that are grieving and will continue to grieve. I don't want to forget the law enforcement officials that have worked tirelessly throughout this whole event uh, to come to a good conclusion. 
Um, our men and women of the Lewiston Police Department, of all of our surrounding agencies, we have with us uh, Chief McGee here from Lisbon, where, where Mr. Card was found. Um, this is in, it's vitally important to all of us that this conclusion came to light tonight. Um, we're going we're gonna to grieve for the families that lost loved ones here. Uh, we're going to continue to work. We're going to persevere. Um, and we become better people for it is in, in terms of working together as teams. We've learned a lot from some mistakes. Uh, we've, we've won a lot of accomplishments this evening. Um, again, I wasn't really prepared for this on a Friday night at 1030, but I'm very happy to be here and very happy to say the threat is over. Thank you. Did you take reaction from your officers when they got the news sir, of this, you know, your officers have been working in this case? Sure. So our officers are being notified now as we speak. Um, some know, obviously, sooner than others. There are many that are still home. They're home with their families. And I'm quite certain at this point in time, we all know about this. Um, this is something that all of our law enforcement uh, personnel, ours and any surrounding community, has been pay paying very close attention to in awaiting positive news or good news. And this is by far the, the best news we've had in, in quite some time. Was, was, there any, was there any belief at this time that the suspect was dead before finding him, or did this come as a brand new revelation that you never saw coming before this? So our reality here is that the search has been extensive, it's been thorough, it's been nonstop since the minute uh, we started speaking with you and long before that. Uh, so all of these options are on the table, as we knew. Uh, we continue to search locations, uh, in some cases multiple times, uh, and uh, we will have more information about exactly how this went down. Uh, we're going to have another briefing tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Uh, and I would uh, please encourage you uh, to think about next steps from your end, information that you uh, would find important. Uh, and uh, I will say that this is not going to be a long Q&A this evening. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we got this information out as fast as possible and as responsible as possible. And what I mean by that is that the time between the notification of the press release and now there wasn't a lot of details there it wasn't a lot of details there because we wanted to talk to the victims families we wanted to say this is coming it's important that they heard that information as close to first as anybody else and you know who else we call uh, was the family of the suspect and uh, they lost a loved one in this scenario um, and there were many of that family that was very cooperative with us throughout uh, so they deserve that phone call so we had those conversations tonight before joining you here. Uh, we also got a chance to send, spend some time uh, with the brothers and sisters of law enforcement and our public safety partners that have been so incredibly helpful uh, over the last few days, uh, to say the least. And so what, one second. Family, so right here, sir. Where exactly did you find him and when exactly did you find him? So at 745 this evening is when uh, Mr. Card was located. I won't give you an exact address. It was uh, near uh, the river along Androscoggin. You've been listening live to a, a press conference in Lewiston, Maine, where police officials have told the public that Robert Card, who uh, allegedly murdered 18 people and injured 13 others Wednesday night, uh, has been found deceased. Further details will be released in the morning, according to officials. And in the meantime, we'll be thinking of the victims, ranging in age from 76 to 14, trying to enjoy themselves on a Wednesday night in their small town. Uh, you've been watching an NBC News special report. We have much more on NBCNews.com and your late local news. I'm Jacob Ward. Good night. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.